viewers and welcome back to my channel and and another video. This video is going to be a haul uh, which I tend to do a lot on my channel. Sorry about that. <laughs> I buy makeup because I love makeup. This haul is going to be Makeup Academy. Uh, I don't know if you have heard of them or if you own anything from them or if you have looked at their website or anything like that but Makeup Academy is a really really affordable drugstore brand from the UK and you can buy it from Makeup Academy's uh, website I will list it down below so you can find it and it's super affordable so it's like one pound for a lipstick and stuff like that it's really really affordable so if you're looking into trying makeup or you want to try something new and exciting and don't want to splurge a lot or if you have a makeup collection that you want to grow and you want to grow it quite fast I would recommend Makeup Academy because it's really inexpensive and you can buy a lot of stuff at once and not feel too guilty about it <laughs> I do believe that they ship all around the world but I am at least 100% sure that they ship all around Europe because I was able to get it <laughs> This won't be a super big haul because I didn't get that many things, I just got a couple of things. I own some stuff from Makeup Academy since before and I wanted to just try some new things. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I got. Sounds okay? Great! First of all, I got uh, something that I rarely, rarely, rarely get from any drugstore brands and that is uh, a foundation. I got the matte... Um, no, I got the matte perfect foundation in natural. This is, says last all day shine control um, Leaves your skin with a flawless matte finish that will keep shine at bay all day I have no idea how this works to be honest I wish now I got the dewy foundation instead because I have more dry skin um, During winter, so I'm gonna try a dewy foundation for winter instead if you have any suggestions for good dewy foundations Hit me up down below because I want to try some dewy foundations but I'm gonna try this as well and see if I like it and if I do I will keep it until summer instead. I also got to compliment that um, foundation <laughs> is the word. I got the matte perfect loose powder it says shine control translucent. This I'm probably going to be using in the winter as well because I have recently discovered how amazing baking is and this could be good for that because it's so inexpensive as well so you can just throw on a lot on baking and not feel too like bad about it. When I bake with my Laura Mercier translucent powder I feel bad <laughs> because that shit's expensive. Let's try and get this Whoo! Get the sticker off. Oh my god! Eh. Okay, sticker is off. And it's got little holes like those normal ones have and... Yeah, feels alright. It's gonna be nice to try that. Let's see if I got a somewhat okay shade on this one. Oh, this th that didn't have a... I'm gonna see if I can... This was a bit oily when I opened it, which is not a good sign for a matte foundation. Let's see if I can see how it looks if I... This seems a bit dark for me right now because I am currently in the shade Vampire. <laughs> I'm so pale. So probably this will be a better foundation uh, for uh, summer, but as you can see this area Got quite good coverage and it felt quite alright even though it was a bit oily when opening it So I'm gonna try it on uh, Maybe with some self tanner or I'm just gonna keep it until summer Because I love matte foundations during summer because that dewiness will come through anyways but in the winter it's really dry up here in the north and I'm gonna try some dewy foundation to see if that fits me better. Something else I wanted to try this is the cover and conceal um, lightweight cover up for imperfections with a smooth flawless finish sounds amazing <laughs> I just put my nose in it it smells kind of fresh and it's a really nice light shade, which I need this time of year. If I'm gonna contour at all, like with my concealer, it needs to be 
white. Yeah. That seems really interesting. I'm, I'm delighted to try it. Next thing... No. Next thing I got was the uh, Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Baked Bronze. And this is new. Hmm. I got something new. Ah. And this looks so pretty. It's like a bronzer with some swirls of gold and pearl in it. This obviously is not a matte bronzer. It's not. It's a baked bronzer and it seems really, really yummy. Because I, I don't really have a problem with sparkly bronzers. I think that that looks really pretty on the skin. I mean, depending on what kind of look you're going for, obviously. But I don't mind a um, bronzer that is a bit let's go with shiny in the lack of better words it feels really smooth and that's the color I like it, it's shiny this probably is gonna look so healthy on a skin that's um, got a slight tan on it and it's not too dark either which is nice because I never get that tanned let's be honest, I don't I'm just gonna pull this up a bit because there's gonna be some more swatches. And next I got, I might as well just show you all three. I got three highlighters. I just, I'm in a highlighting mode. I don't know what's wrong with me, but as soon as I see highlighters, especially drugstore highlighters, I have to get them all to see, like, are these any good? And the pattern of these, I'm gonna start with this one, which is the darkest one. The pattern of these are amazing. It says, uh, undress your skin, shimmer highlight. And look at this pattern. I hope you can see, but this is really pretty. And I think this color reminds me of that bronzy, uh, shimmering blush that Becca has. I don't remember the name, but you probably know which one I mean. Uh, I mean, obviously this is not a highlighter. This is um, a blush for me. I know that on a really deep, rich skin tone, this will be awesome as a highlighter because a more of a rosy, orangey highlighter works really good with a deep complexion. Mm, mm. Hmm. That is actually a really nice color and it's not too pigmented, which is nice if you're going to use it as a blush because then you don't have to be... I mean... We all like products that have good pigments, but when you're going to use something as a blush, if it's too pigmented, it's too easy to look not so much uh, flushed beauty and more like Bonds of the Clown, and we don't want to go there. So I actually enjoy this being uh, semi-opaque. <laughs> Let's try this pink highlight as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name. This one is uh, Opalescent Amber. And this one is Pink Shimmer. Mm, if I can get it open, what is it with me in packaging? And you, as you can see, this is like a pinky peachy highlight. And if you watch my videos, you know I'm all about that pinky highlight life. I just want to bathe myself in pinky highlights. I think that is so pretty. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe this should have been a bit more uh, opaque. But the shimmer is really pretty. And this is good for probably layering on top of other highlighters because a lot of people don't want to have that pink shimmer. But this would be awesome as a blush topper as well because I like sheen on my cheeks. So if I have, if I have a matte blush, I usually top it with some kind of pinky highlight, but I would probably use this on my cheekbones as well because <laughs> I like pink highlights and cannot lie. This is the last highlight I got and it is called Iridescent Gold. This is probably the highlight that most people are going to find interesting because this is a pale gold and I would even say that this is so pale that it fits pale people <laughs> because a lot of the highlighters that are out there they're made for medium skin tones they're not made for super pale girls and they're not made for deeper skin tones so I, I like that these have a range. Uh, this is a pale I mean I would say that this is a cold highlight you understand what I mean with that? But it's not that warm sheen, it's more of a cold sheen. 
I hope that you can see because I think it's a pretty sheen and I think this highlight would look amazing on pale girls so if you're pale and you're looking for a highlight that doesn't give like color to your skin this could be really pretty for you next I got a brush I don't know why I got a brush I just I wanted a brush <laughs> I got this large concealer brush it's an F16 Never, uh, I've never tried any of the Makeup Academy brushes before, but I thought I'd get one of these synthetic brushes for cream products. Because I do use some cream products and I want to buff them out with a brush. And I want another brush to buff out cream products with because I only have uh, two and I use one for concealer and one for my eyeshadow primer. And I wanted to have another one for when I have cream eyeshadow or something in that area. So this is really soft and it's like flat but round. Do you understand? It's got that paddle shape and the brush is kind of pretty. It's like black sleek. So we'll see if I like this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And next item I got was the Extreme Felt Eyeliner. It's basically a felt eyeliner and I just wanted to try another eyeliner. It's not super black. Oh well, it turns black. <laughs> black. <laughs> it turns black uh, if you press it a bit. So yeah, we'll see. If it's not super black, at least I can use it to like outline where I want the cat eye to be, and then I can fill it in with a gel or something. Because I find it a bit hard to create a winged liner with gel. I want it to start out with like a felt tip or something like that and then I'll go in and fill it in with a gel or something like that. So maybe I'll like this one. We'll see. So last thing I'm going to show you is two lipsticks. Uh, the lipsticks from Makeup Academy come in little bullets like this and it has the color on the bottom so it shows the color and then it's just a regular screw up screw up? Is that what you say? Screw up? Yeah, probably. So this is a screw up lipstick and these are one pound each, which is probably like one and a half dollar or something like that. And I got these in the shade uh, Juicy and Bear. So this is Bear and this is Juicy. Juicy. I can't talk today. And I, I got two because I wanted to try like the quality of these to see if these are anything that I want. That was a pig. Okay, I'm really impressed. This juicy one was amazing. And that corally color is so pretty for summer. Why did I get all this summer makeup? What was I thinking? I was like hoping for it to be warm again. This bare one seems like a really cold, pinky uh, nude. That is... That is amazing. I love that color. I can't believe I paid a pound for it. It smells like lipstick, but not strong. It smells like lipstick, but not too much, <laughs> not too overwhelming. Um, so, so far I'm pretty impressed. The swatches are amazing, so I'm gonna try them on my lips and see what I think of them. And if I like them, maybe I'll get out of colors as well. Last thing I wanted to show you is something that I built myself. As you can see, I put uh, Makeup Academy, it's Miwa, <laughs> on uh, the palette. And I built this palette myself. Um, let me remove this plastic. This palette is a palette that I built myself. It contains 15 single eyeshadows from Makeup Academy. The single eyeshadows from Makeup Academy is amazing. I have a video up showing you how to depart a single eyeshadow and I will link that video down below so you can see how I created this palette. I will do a separate video swatching uh, all of the colors that I have in my Makeup Academy palette and talking a bit about the shadows because they are good and they are inexpensive and they deserve a video of their own so keep your eyes peeled for that one. So that was all for this haul video for Makeup Academy. If you like these kinds of videos don't forget to give this two thumbs up so I know what I should keep doing and also if you have any questions just leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe on your way out and until next time, bye! <laughs>